Hello beautiful people, in this tutorial I am going to talk about Google Ads conversion tracking. So how we can track Google Ads from our e-commerce platform. So let's see on my screen. So this is our website, e-commerce website and now I am going to Google Ads tracking by GTM, then tools and setting, then I am gonna conversion from measurement then we will see on here new conversion action i just click new conversion action we got from website that's why i select website then they are showing me our website domain on here so this is our website domain i just copy and paste on here then we can select scan so they have a scanned uh, I can save and continue so they are required at last one conversion action I just add manually then I select purchase on here purchase optimize this each conversion and we use one and we need to track every conversion then we will see one here and these are always recommended I just click done then save and continue so we got a tracking code but we don't use this code we are using google tag manager that's why i am select google tag manager then we will got on here conversion id and conversion level so i right now i am select done so this is our purchase conversion from website i just click again and then we will see one here tag setup google tag manager then we will get same conversion id and conversion level now I'm going to Google Tag Manager. This is our Google Tag Manager. From this website, I just add a new tag. Tag configuration. Here is Google Ads conversion tracking. I just select this tag. And then we will see one here conversion ID and conversion level. I just copy the conversion ID from here and paste it on here. I just copy conversion level and put it on here conversion level so what is our conversion value if your website is e-commerce and you already enable data layer then you can select conversion value so now i'm select plus data layer variable this is our gf revenue i select this revenue what is our transaction id i just select plus and you already create data layer variable on here so this is our purchase id or transaction id so what is currency code i just select ga4 currency so this is actually google ads conversion tracking all field so if your website did not enable data layer so you did not get this conversion value transaction id and currency code so you will never get all conversion and all conversion value on here so now i am set it for triggering we will set the purchase trigger so perfect for make sure that for conversion tracking we need a conversion id and conversion label then we will add our conversion value and conversion transaction id and currency code then we will select our trigger from e-commerce purchase trigger then i will save this and google ads conversion tracking so which conversion tracking google ads e-commerce purchase tracking save it so we are successfully add google ads uh, purchase tracking on here then i select back so so if your tag manager and your website is working then it should be work on here and you will get your conversion value and all conversion then startup will be verified and you will get all data from your website so you will get this type of data here it is all conversion and here is our conversion value and we can select the date custom date september 1 to september 13 then apply then you will change the all conversion value on here so hope you enjoy this video feel free to like this video and subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos and i promise you you will never be disappointed see you on my next video